Hi there, welcome to the channel. My name is Craig and if you've been following me along you know I've been doing a 30 day video challenge and about a week ago I disappeared and that was because I picked up a very nasty virus. I have not been sick for 11 years and it just completely took me out. So that's why I haven't been around but today what I want to do is a review between two SEO tools. And this was suggested in one of the comments on one of my videos and I want to review SE ranking versus the infamous Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. Put them side by side, give you an honest opinion, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best piece of software. So let's start off with the pricing. SE ranking starts at $23.40 US dollars per month, and Uber Suggest comes in slightly lower. Now on the uh, screen here we show 29 New Zealand dollars which is roughly $20.83 US dollars. So the first win goes to Uber Suggest. Next we look at how many projects you can actually have on your account. So SE ranking you're allowed 10 websites, Uber Suggest you are only allowed 3. So that is a clear win to SE ranking on that one. Next we look at the keywords that you can track on your account and with SE ranking on their minimum package you are allowed 250 keywords to track. They do have a little add on here saying that out of that you're allowed five combinations of region, of device, of uh, what else is there, language and choice of search engine. So there's a few little extras there but on Uber Suggest you are allowed 300 keywords, it's 100 per project, so once again, Uber Suggest gets the win on that one. So let's look at the SE ranking uh, dashboard and you can see what it actually offers you, then compare side by side. So what I've done is set up a uh, friend of mine, his website, they've got a boutique dog hotel, they have not done any SEO, but this will just give us a good idea of what we can compare. So we look at SE ranking, we can see the keywords that it's come back with automatically. And when we go into Uber Suggest, we can see we actually get some different keywords, uh, but on a very similar basis. But the main difference here that you can see is the way the dashboard displays. With SE ranking, what we do get here is we get the SERP features. And for me personally, this is a very important thing, something I'm driving home to my clients all the time that even though they are ranking number four on the front page of Google, more often than not, they don't get any traffic from it, or if they do, they get very little traffic because there are so many things above them that are pushing them down. So SERP features for me is a critical thing I look for when we are making decisions on what sort of content we're going to create. And you don't get that with Uber Suggest. However, Uber Suggest will get the win on the keywords because you get more. So the next thing we look at is how often the software updates. With SE ranking on their minimum package, it updates every week. And with Uber Suggest, they update every single day. So that is a clear win for Uber Suggest. The next one we look at is the number of locations that you can actually put into your projects. Uber suggests to have a, a limit of 20 and SE ranking has a limit of 50. So that is a bit of a win for SE ranking on that occasion. So the next thing we look at is the website audits. And this is when the software crawls your site and comes back with recommendations for changes to get the maximum SEO performance. So on SE ranking, you can crawl a maximum of 30,000 pages and Uber suggest have a limit of 1,000 pages per report. So the assumption is that you're allowed three projects, so that would give you 3,000 pages in total. Now that doesn't specify if it's per account or per day or per week, so we can only assume that is per account so on that one, SE ranking has a very clear advantage. So the next one we're looking at is the competitive keyword research. Now SE ranking works slightly differently to Uber Suggest. In fact, they give you 100 reports per day and each report allows you 1,000 results. 
So that's a total of 100,000 keywords you can interrogate every single day, and then it renews at the end of the day and you're good to go the next day. Uber Suggest work differently. Their keyword interrogation is 20,000. Now it doesn't specify if this is per day, per week. I'm assuming there's going to be a total for the whole project. So on that one, SE ranking is a clear winner. Particularly if you do a lot of keyword research like I do, you're looking for low competition keywords, and you can hammer away on SE ranking without having to worry about your credits. And lastly, before we dive into actually looking at the platforms themselves, the UX, the layout, and that sort of stuff, we can't forget about the old backlinks. So with SE ranking, you can monitor 4,000 backlinks in total on the minimum package. That's for all 10 websites. And with Ubersuggest, you can actually monitor 6,000. They allow you 2,000 per account or 2,000 per project. So that's the one here. So that gives you a total of 6,000 total for the account. So on that one, Ubersuggest is the clear winner. So let's dive in now and have a look at the dashboards and get a feel for how each of them work. And then we can make a bit of a comparison. Then I'm going to give you my summary. So we can see that the keywords are laid out very nicely. There's information about PPC that you don't get in Ubersuggest. And Ubersuggest has a very similar layout. And everything is clear. It's easy to read. Here are the keywords. And the position or that the company is currently ranking for, you can export them. So you can do the same thing in each of these accounts. But there is something that is very, very obvious that is missing in Ubersuggest, and that is the SERP positions. So here we are, we can see here the SERP positions for each keyword. So we can see Google Maps, we can see uh, people also ask, reviews, images, and so on. So that is super, super useful, particularly when you are wanting to target a particular topic and you want to know that you can get to the top of the page very, very easily. So always uh, look at that because organic traffic isn't always going to get you the traffic that you need. So on this sort of front, I prefer SE ranking because the SERP features for me is something I just discuss with my clients every single day. I think it's mission critical. You don't get that with Ubersuggest. If we look at the other things such as the audits that go through, now as mentioned, uh, Uber suggests we'll do an audit every single day for you. They'll do update, whereas SE ranking on the package I'm talking about, uh, it is every week. Now, every week is enough for me. And the information you get from both platforms is very good. I prefer the layout of SE ranking because I've got my menu on the left hand side here. I can go between. And with Uber suggests, it's just a bit more chunky. We can see when we go in there that the tool is scanning the uh, software is scanning the website. So that's quite good because it does it every single day, which is good. But just if you look at the way it's laid out for me, it's just a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a mishmash. It's just a little bit hard to sort of interpret and get more information on this. So you've got to click here and then go into here and it's still quite limited of what you actually get. It's just a word count where for me, I think the SE ranking tool is just a bit more technical. It's a bit more professional. There's more detail. It's easier to get to. So for me, the SE ranking one sort of ticks the box there. Now looking at the backlink profile, we can go in there and we can go between the actual links itself. We can look at the domain names. We can look at anchor text. Uh, there's a few things you can do with disavow. You can connect that into your uh, Google Search Console to actually disavow some of the backlinks. So you get similar information to Uber Suggest. In fact, you get things such as when they were last seen, if they do follow, no follow what sort of uh, backlink it is. It's a text, is it an image? Uh, Uber suggest you get very similar information. We'll just go and look at the backlinks here. You get anchor text, you do get the backlinks. There's nothing to display at the moment. It's probably still crawling the site, but there are the actual backlinks itself. And, but what it doesn't tell us here is if there is anchor text or what type of backlink it is. So very easy to see in SE ranking if it is a uh, image or if it is text and it shows you over here. So I find that quite useful at a glance, but overall you're going to get the same sort of information. And we get more information over here as we scroll across. There's a bit more detail. There's the country when it's first seen, last seen. 
as I say, you can add the dis uh, use the disavow if you want to. And there's a few bits of other things you can do here. You can edit notes and assign it to a manager and all sorts of things like that. So yeah, once again, I just feels like SE Ranking is a bit more professional with the layout. There's a bit more content there. There's a few extra things that you can do. So yeah, I think uh, for me, the SE Ranking tool on this particular part is actually uh, is better. Now, one thing that Uber suggests do have is a backlink opportunity. They call it back that backlink opportunity where you can put in a website of your competitor and find the backlinks. Well, you can do this in SE Ranking as well. And up the top here, you have backlink checker. So you get a limit of 20 per day and you can interrogate 20 domains per day and get all the results there. So you can see I've gone back to zero because I haven't done any today. And once again, you, know, you can go in and interrogate away to your heart's content. So yeah, I think those ones there, if we do a bit of a, a comparison between the two, uh, it's a little bit hard to work out, but we know we can do 20 per day and Uber suggest we uh, new and lost reporting, filtering link history, uh, backlink interrogation. So yeah, a little bit hard to know how many can actually do here. I'm assuming that whatever you do is going to be included in your 2000 limit there. So yeah, not sure on that one, but uh, as I say, for me anyway, uh, SE ranking. So in summary, I prefer SE Ranking. I think it's more professional. That was a free account I showed you on Uber Suggest. I have had a paid account before. The dashboard doesn't look anything different than what I can remember. I could be wrong. If I am, please correct me in the comments. But for me, the SE Ranking is more professional, more data. I can export that data in a more, more reasonable fashion that customers can sort of see and appreciate. And just because it's more professional, I feel more confident in it when I am talking to clients, doing screen shares, showing them information than I do with Uber Suggest. So for me, I'm an a SE ranking guy. That's what I'm going to stick with. That's what I recommend. There's a link below if you're interested in getting a free trial on it. And while you're there, have a look above. And if you're interested to learn how to find really good quality domain names using SE ranking, there's a link above to that video too. So Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate you. I'll see you next video. Bye.